Hi, this is Christian Chase with Chase Real Estate and ChaseForeclosure.com. Hey, what I wanted to do for our investors today is I, I've got a great venue here. This is one of our investors' properties. They just got done fixing up, cleaning it up, getting it on the market ready for sale. This is a flip property. And uh, what I wanted to do is give you a quick little tour here of what we're looking at. We're in downtown Joliet in the cathedral area, which is the hottest area in real estate right now, is the entire cathedral area. And St. Pat's is also a real hot area. But what's really cool about this house is what we're looking at here is we're perched up so high on a hill and it's a cool looking house, older home and overlooking all the other homes in the neighborhood, but uh, something that's very, very unique and something that I look for. And one of the cool things is behind me is uh, we have like this, the old timey street lamps and looks really, really cool. So anyways, I thought it'd be a cool little venue to shoot a video and uh, give us a market update, what's happening right now in real estate. And I'm gonna take you through that uh, whole process. So what's happening in real estate right now? And I can tell you for a fact, interest rates are all over the map. They just went down on an FHA mortgage by about half a point uh, a couple days ago. And so is that a good thing? Well, yeah, an interest rate going down is a good thing. The only bad thing with interest rates going down and going up and swinging back and forth is it's very, very difficult for a consumer to know what can they or can't they afford. And so I hear a lot of investors say to me, well, don't the buyers go out and get approved and then lock in an interest rate and go look at homes so they know this is what their interest rate is going to be? Well, you know, you and I do that. We go out and we talk to our bank, we get approved, we lock in our interest rate, and then we know for the next number 60 days, we're locked in at this particular rate. And if when we find a house within those 60 days, that's what our interest rate is going to be. That's what our payment's going to be on a monthly basis. Well, you know, a lot of buyers don't do that. They, uh, what they'll do is they'll call a real estate agent, say, I want to go look at homes. The realtor will say, hey, talk to your lender and get a pre-approval. And they get the pre-approval and they're approved to $200,000. But they really don't know what the interest rate is. And so they really don't know what they could actually spend with interest rates going up as much as they have and as much as they're coming down right now. So they really don't know where they fall and what the monthly payment is going to be. So what you and I as investors are the most interested in is really a stable interest rate. And I've said this many times, I really don't care if it's a high interest rate or a low interest rate. We just need to know what the interest rate is or we're going to be very close. We know that they fluctuate a little bit every day, but uh, for the most part, you know, we need an interest rate that's a bit more fixed than fluctuating like it has been. So that's one of the challenges that we have in the market right now is these swinging interest rates, ups and downs. Uh, and again, really doesn't matter if it's 7% or 6.5%. Um, I really just want to have that fixed interest rate. So but there is activity. That's the one thing that I want interest, uh, investors to know is that even with the interest rate swinging, there are buyers that are out buying properties. They're out showing homes right now. And now we just got past the election and that's a big thing for us. And that's always been the case, except for during COVID. Uh, we typically see a little slowdown right before the election. And then right after the election, we start to see a little bit of a pickup in activity on showings uh, and offers on our property. So we're kind of in that time where we would like to see uh, showings, which we are, and we'd like to see the offers on properties, which we are. So those are some good things that are happening right now for our buy, fix, and sell properties. But again, we need to get the interest rates to stabilize. One of the things that I encourage all of our investors to do is we put out that whole bonus thing for um, realtors. And we did that about three weeks ago. And that's where all the marketing and everything that we're doing is really all starting to add up. And so uh, you're going to start to see additional offers, showings as a result of the bonuses that we're offering out to buyer's agents who are showing our property. So we get this home all fixed up, cleaned up, we put it on the market, we offer the buyer's broker a bonus, and we ultimately end up getting showings on these properties because of that. So, uh, and offers on property. So it's that motivating factor. But again, it's not like something that happens instantaneous where you put the broker bonus out there. We have to advertise it. That's a big part of what we do. And we're advertising it. And there's a couple ways that we advertise this. One, we're doing it on the MLS in the broker private remarks saying, hey, there's a big bonus on this property. Pay attention to it. 
And then we created a website called My Broker Bonus. Now we're advertising that website out to realtors throughout the Chicagoland area around where our properties are located and that's Facebook targeted ads. So what we do is we're advertising to specifically those agents that are in that area that are showing homes or work in that area and they're being flashed these little ads, broker bonus, go to mybrokerbonus.com to view all the properties available that have these broker bonuses. So uh, that's starting to uh, work its way through the advertising is of that. And then one of the other things that I think is, is critical is, um, is reaching out to the agents directly. So we have a database of all the real estate brokers throughout the Chicagoland area. And you know, you guys watch all these videos and you know, what is this? This is marketing, this is what I do. And so one of the key parts of marketing is I email, I have the list of all the real estate brokers that are in those areas, and then I'm blasting out emails to all of those real estate brokers in those areas to let them know, hey, we have all these properties, go visit uh, mybrokerbonus.com. So it's like a lot of things that are going on, and I know a lot of this stuff is in the background, and I don't necessarily always go, hey, this is exactly what we do. I mean, there's no secrets to what I do. It's just good general marketing, and and if doing this as long as I have, I have a pretty good clue on how to get somebody to to pick up the phone and give me a, a call. <laughs> so, um, but those are some of the things that are happening in the background. And I want always our investors to know that it's like, you may say, well, you know, they got the home on the market. There's nothing going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I, I promise you that. Um, I'm very invested in this. I have a lot of properties as well myself. So um, I want to get the property sold and I want to get my properties rented out or whatever it may be. So I'm as interested as you are in getting these properties moved through. But there is a little bit of a patience, and I know it's sometimes a little bit challenging where you're like sitting there going, man, nothing's going to happen. I promise you one thing. If you bought the properties from me and you bought them in the areas that I've been suggesting, um, we're in good areas. We're in A, B, C plus locations. We're in mint areas for selling real estate. This stuff doesn't decay and fall off of a cliff. And I've never in my entire career just sat there and said, oh man, I got this house. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This is, you know, I, you know, we needed lightning to strike to get rid of it. You know, I've never had that happen in 26 years of doing this. So uh, my fear level on a scale from one to 10 is a zero with real estate. Um, but it is sometimes a waiting game, and that's what we're waiting for. And in real estate, you know, when I got in the business a long time ago, or when I first got into business, I guess I should say, I was bagging groceries at 14 years old out of a Win Dixie out in v Richmond, Virginia. And um, I always remembered one thing is that when I was out there bagging groceries, I'd stand there and I'd be, you know, I'd be standing twiddling my thumbs, nothing was going on. And then um, all of a sudden there would be this surge of people that would start be waiting in line and there would be, you know, eight or nine people deep in the lines. And then they would have to call up and get more cashiers to get to the front of the store. And I always watched that. I worked there for a number of years. I actually loved it uh, working at the grocery store. But um, when I was there, I watched that. I always said, man, oh man, isn't this crazy? It's like no one is there. And then everyone wants to check out all at once. Why is it? I could tell you, if I could figure that out, I'd probably be a trillionaire, why everybody wants to check out at one time. But that's the same thing I've always watched in real estate. It's like everybody makes the moves kind of at the same time. And why is that? What happens? Is it the moon and the stars and the planets align? I don't know, but I can tell you that's what happens. And so I feel very, very confident with our properties. But if you ever got nervous, you know, there's always plan A and plan B. That's the best part of our real estate. We don't have to do one thing with a piece of real estate. So we have our whole leasing team that's in place that I've had since 2001. So it's not something new that I created. It's something that I've had because a lot of our investors buy and me personally own a lot lot of investment rental real estate. So if our plan A was to buy, fix, and sell the property, and we're like, hey, I don't want to wait it out. I don't want to wait until all the buyers want to check out. Well, our option is to go ahead and get that property rented, and we could easily do that. We have all the systems. The teams are in place. It's a pretty seamless process, and we'll guide you through it. It's not like a big deal, and it's not a real hassle, and then we can even cash out refinance, and I've talked a lot about that, the burst strategy. Well, 
Now we're converting our pro property into a burst strategy. And now we uh, actually have some gains by that, by going from short-term capital gains to long-term capital gains. So, um, you know, I'm the type of guy, I'm a let's turn lemons into lemonade. That's how I've always been. Um, I'm optimistic on everything. I don't think that any scenario is absolutely that bad. So, um, and I know a lot of people do. And I know if you don't do this every day, it's sometimes a little bit harder to interpret what's going on. But I mean, that's what I'm here for. That's what you guys hired me to do is to kind of at least let you know what's going on. And not every day I'm going to tell you everything is all hunky dory. But um, I'm going to also tell you, like, you know, really, there's not a lot of things that I'm freaking out about right now. OK, this is kind of like getting back to a more normalized market. And that's actually where I prefer to float. I don't like the stuff where it's just shooting through the roof because I always know that is going to come back down. And that's where like the Miamis and the Arizonas and the Californias are feeling that stuff right now where we're not. And that's what's something I think is very unique. So um, as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get me a, give me a call and uh, check out our website, chaseforeclosure.com. Thanks.